Excuse me. You do realize it's no smoking in here? Beg your pardon, what was that? The sign. It says no smoking. Well, actually, I was just on my way out. Not that it's any business of yours, rude woman. Oh, hello, Stacey. Right. Are you taking Ruby out on a date? There's no problem. You said I should stop leading her on. He's didn't mean for you to ask her out. She's my best friend. You don't want to get involved with your roguish older brother, yeah? No, it's not that. Look, I can't cancel her now, can I? It'll break her up. Well, it's better now than a couple of months down the line, Sean. <laughs> cool, you got loads of faith in me, haven't you? Look, just please don't. She's been hurt before. Look, thanks. All right, I'll tell her we've got no chance of being together if it'll make you happy. No, you can't put it like that. That won't make me happy. But it's all right, I understand. It's better for all of us if it starts before it begins. Just put it nicely, Sean, all right? I don't want to see her upset. I'm outside. Doesn't matter where you are, it's still no good for you. It helps me nerves. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It blocks your arteries, stains your skin, smells, increases your chances of cancer and a premature death. I ain't entering no beauty contests. I've had cancer. And at my age, there ain't no such thing as a premature death. Furthermore, I've just seen me doctor. He says it's fine in moderation. The doctor in there? Mm-hmm. That's right. That's funny, because I don't remember examining you. I may write. I'm your new GP. 